In this video, we will download and process the dronemapper.com 4th Avenue example data set. This will ensure that your software installation is functioning properly. First, download the 4th Avenue example data set and extract it to a folder on your desktop. If you navigate into that folder, you can see a series of images collected with a DJI Phantom 3 with a Nader view. At this point, you'll want to go to your start menu and load the Drone Mapper software application. Once Drone Mapper is loaded, go ahead and navigate to the file menu and choose Load Image Set. Navigate to your desktop and the 4th Avenue example folder. Highlight that folder and click OK. Drone Mapper loads the image positions over a map base layer and loads thumbnails and metadata from each image into the right hand corner under the project imagery pane. At this point, I like to load the log file so I can watch the processing in real time. Go to the Operations menu and select Drone Mapper Log. When you're ready to start the processing, go ahead and hit the Play button under the Preview stage. Using the default application settings usually works for a large majority of data sets. In a future video, we will review all the settings and how they apply to different types of data and data sets. Go ahead and click play to start the processing. As you can see, the log file is updated and the timer and the task processing statuses are now changing. What this means is the first stage of the preview function is, is running. We've got an EXIF extraction routine running right now. Once that's completed, the images will be run through a tie point extracting algorithm. When those tie points are extracted, they will be matched for features between image pairs. So as you can see, the log file is now updating and we're starting to see matches and uh, features match between image pairs. Once this is completed, the software will do a photogrammetric bundle block adjustment and camera calibration to generate an initial orientation of all the images. Depending on your hardware, this preview processing for, for the 4th Avenue data set could take anywhere from a minute or two to 5 or 10 minutes. Right now, we've just finished the tie point extraction and the software is going into the camera calibration and bundle block adjustment routines. Once that is completed, the last step will be the georeferencing based on either embedded GPS metadata, provided GCPs, or RTK PPK quality EXIF data. As you can see here, the dialog Box has updated us and told us that the EXIF step has completed, the features step has completed, and the initial alignment and bundle block step is in progress.
obviously the number of images and the megapixel of the images will greatly affect how long this processing takes along with your hardware. So we've now completed the alignment and bundle block adjustment stage and the software is doing the initial geo-referencing. For this example, we're just using EXIF uh, embedded GPS data. The geo-referencing stage is about completed. The software is now generating a low-resolution grayscale geo-referenced orthomosaic, which will then be overlaid uh, on the map. I'm going to go ahead and close the log window, and you can see the preview stage for this example data set took roughly four minutes. This verifies that the software is working properly and that you have a good data set that's able to be processed. From here you can zoom out, you can change the base layers, so we can select hybrid here, you can go back to the maps mode but essentially what we've done is started and completed the preview and field processing and first steps in order to generate a digital elevation model and an ortho mosaic from this imagery. In a later video, I'll work with some more difficult to process data sets and we'll explore some of the options and toggle switches uh, to help facilitate processing of, of more difficult data. If you don't get a grayscale orthomosaic uh, with your installation, that, that, that tells us that you have an installation problem. If you're running your own data and you get an error dialog or you don't get a grayscale orthomosaic preview, most likely your data collection uh, has some issues or there are some settings adjustments that we'll need to do in order to get that processed. So in a future video, we'll work through that stuff as well.